As we come to the end of an unprecedented couple of years for the global economy and markets, it's a good time to stop and assess how things have evolved and also to look ahead at what we can expect in 2022, both for oil markets and the UAE economy. I'm Katija Huck and I'm joined today by my colleague Edward Bell. Ed, to talk about uh, the state of the oil market, at the start of the year we found ourselves with an oil price at $50 a barrel and something of a glut in global oil markets. Right now we're sitting with oil prices above $80 on Brent and an apparent shortage of oil in the market. How did we get here and what can we expect in 2022? I think the oil market in 2021 has largely been characterized by both recovery and restraint. Oil consumption has recovered very strongly this year as global economies have reopened and vaccines have been rolled out across major economies. It is a little bit uneven though with some major emerging economies still not achieving a large vaccine threshold and some segments of the oil sector like air travel still not converging on their pre-pandemic levels of activity. But overall, it does look like we're going to be coming in with oil consumption growth of around five and a half million barrels of the state year compared with pre-pandemic levels of closer to one and one and a half million barrels per day. On the supply side, it's been much more of an issue of restraint. We've seen OPEC plus producers return some of the production that they took out of the market in 2020. And in the final months of the year, they're doing it at the slow but steady pace of 400,000 barrels per day. We're also seeing production increase slowly from producers in the United States, particularly in the shale patch. And they're really trying to avoid flooding the market and focusing on returning profits to shareholders this year. We've also had some interruptions to supply from things like freezing weather and hurricanes in the United States. For 2022, we expect the oil demand story to be slower than it is this year, but still fairly solid. We expect more and more economies are going to be opening up, particularly in emerging economies, and that should help oil consumption grow at a slower but steady pace. That said, there are still some risks, notably related to the COVID-19 pandemic, but provided the growth doesn't derail too severely. For supply in 2022, however, it's going to be somewhat of the reverse situation that we're in right now, with production from OPEC+, Plus, US shale producers, and elsewhere all set to increase. OPEC Plus will have unwound all of their pandemic-related cuts, probably by the middle point of 2022, with production from the core GCC members actually at 2018 levels. For U.S. shale producers, it does look like by the end of 2022, we're going to be at levels exceeding where we ended 2019. In terms of the outlook for prices, we don't expect that the high prices the oil market sees right now with Brent prices above $80 a barrel are going to last much into 2022. Particularly, we see some downside risk for the second half of next year as oil production is set to grow quite strongly. That being said, on average, we do expect to see oil prices in 2022 roughly in line with where we've been so far in 2021 with Brent prices at around $70 per barrel. The adjustments that we've seen both in terms of oil production and oil prices have been important to the recovery story in the UAE and the wider GCC region this year. The oil sector is not going to be as big a drag on headline GDP growth as we had expected at the start of the year. Higher oil prices have helped to bring the fiscal balances back in line after a significant increase in budget deficits last year. This year, we actually expect the UAE to record a budget surplus uh, following a 2.5% budget deficit in 2020. Higher oil prices also tend to boost sentiment in the region, as there is an expectation that governments will increase spending on the back of higher oil revenues and boost non-oil sector growth. We think that is less likely to happen this time around, however, because governments recognise that oil prices above $80 a barrel may not be sustained indefinitely. And as we look out 20 or 30 years, as the world moves away from hydrocarbons towards clean energy, we're likely to see oil prices lower than they are today. That's not to say that there won't be any money available for investment from the public sector. We do expect governments in the region to continue to invest, but the money that they are likely to allocate is, is expected to complement and incentivize private sector investment rather than being the sole engine of growth going forward. The focus is really on structural reform in order to drive private sector, domestic and foreign investment to become the main engine of growth for the region going forward. 
We've had a slow start to the recovery in the UAE in 2021, uh, with global travel restric restrictions still remaining in place in the first half of the year, and the emergence of the Delta variant of the coronavirus also weighing on both the global recovery and the regional one. We are now expecting growth to gain momentum into the fourth quarter of this year and in and Q1 2022, as those global travel restrictions continue to be eased, and we see a recovery in the all important tourism and hospitality sector in the UAE. Beyond tourism, we've also seen a recovery in real estate investment in the UAE in 2021. To some extent, this was largely due to the success with which the Dubai government tackled the pandemic last year and made Dubai a desirable place to live when the rest of the world was in lockdown. We expect uh, the global recovery to continue to underpin the recovery in the region. We also expect low interest rates and the implementation of those structural reforms that we talked about to drive growth in the UAE in 2022 and beyond. There are still risks to the outlook. The pandemic is not fully behind us. A new variant could emerge or there could be an acceleration in global cases, which could again see global travel restrictions be imposed and weigh on the global recovery. The UAE's strategy of investing in value-added manufacturing, diversifying exports, and attracting and retaining talent that's necessary to drive future growth will help to make the economy more resilient, but it will take time to yield results. Thank you for joining us, and thank you, Ed, for your insights on the oil market.